Hey there, home theater fans. Todd Anderson with avnirvana.com. I'm here at Cedia 2025 in Denver, Colorado, hanging out with Tim from Samsung. Tim, how's it going? It's going so well, and it's so great to see you here. I can't wait to tell you all about what we got going on here. Oh, I can't wait either, because folks, we have something super awesome to talk about. This is a uh, potentially an industry changer, I think. Yes, game-changing technology, one of the first to come to the industry, and truly gonna change what you think about future-proof displays. First, I wanna just rewind a little bit and talk about what Samsung has been up to in the display world. Uh, you have your OLED TVs that have done extremely well, particularly in this year's uh, flat panel shootout yes. out in New York City. Very, very competitive displays, they're beautiful. So do you wanna tell us a little bit about uh, where you guys are coming into this new technology that's coming out? I would love to. So if you follow Samsung, you know that we're one of the leading innovators in the home entertainment space when it comes to displays. We're always looking at pursuing what's next in the industry. And when you talk about OLED, one of the big things that we changed is our glare-free panel that we introduced a couple years back on our flagship OLED, the S95. Yep. Truly taking the gorgeous OLED experience you all know and love with those perfect black levels, but saying, hey, Let's put it in the brightest of rooms and still enjoy how this OLED can pop. Now, since then, we've taken some of that technology and we've applied it to our Neo QLED TVs and some of our latest and greatest TVs that we're gonna talk about next, like this new innovation called Micro RGB. So in terms of your uh, lineup of OLEDs, is it only the top end that has the, uh, the glare reduction technology on it? Now, that's a really good question. Our top end is the only one that has the glare-free display. So S95F has more of that matte style finish to really eliminate all the glare and distracting reflections. However, both of our other OLEDs, the S90 and the S85 have traditional anti-reflection technology. So while it's more of that glossy finish, it still does help reduce the glare coming in. But if you are putting it in those brighter environments, nothing will beat that glare free of the S95 app. Right, right. So if you want that OLED performance, but you're a little nervous about having that big bank of windows in your room being a little bit of a problem with shine, you guys have the answer. We do, and, and that's one of the things about Samsung. I mean, from our Crystal UHD to our flagship AKs to our new micro RGB technology, we like to think that we have a solution for anyone and everyone. If you don't know where you want to end up, Samsung can help you get there because we have a product and a price point that's ready for you. Right, okay, now. Let's talk about this big boy behind us here. What size are we looking at? This is a 115 inch display, but it's not just any 115 inch display. This is the world's first of its kind technology called micro RGB. Now we've had things like Neo QLED in the past and we've had things like micro LED, but this is the first that's really focusing on what can we do with color today? When we think about color, that's one of the most important parts of your image. If you want it to look natural and realistic, you need to have all of the colors that can support it. And micro RGB is the first of its kind that can display 100% of the colors in the UHD color space, Rec 2020 or BT 2020. That's 75% of all the colors the human eye can perceive. So we're almost getting to the point where our TVs can display anything we see in the real world, like you're walking out the front door. Okay, let's frame this for people out there because the technology names can get a little confusing. We have LCD, then came along LED, LCD, and then people just started calling that LED TVs. All of this kind of wraps right back around to LCD technology at the most basic level, correct? Correct, you are correct. And this is still using some similar LTD, LCD technology that we know and love, backed by those LEDs. So as you mentioned, a lot of people just refer to them as LED TVs now. That's kind of what we're saying here, because the way this TV actually works is we have tons of these LEDs behind it, but they're not ordinary LEDs like your usual TV. A lot of TVs will use a traditional blue light passing through a color filter, but what we're doing here is using an LED that actually has individual red, green, and blue modules behind it. So if we need to display red, we just pump that red to its brightest. If we need to display blue, we pump that blue to its brightest. So what this gives us is 134 million shades of red, 134 million shades of green, and 134 million shades of blue that we can all blend together to give you this beautiful image that you see behind us. And this is really interesting uh, from the perspective of when you have OLED, we really haven't yet seen a true RGB because the blue OLED dies pretty quickly, correct? 
Correct. There are some uh, problems that can come with that, you know, in terms of longevity with with OLED. But that's the beauty of this micro RGB technology. We're not using organic materials, so these LEDs they're going to hold up. They're going to continue to shine. And this makes it one of the most future-proof displays that you can bring to your home today. So full coverage of uh, wide color, essentially. It's a massive size, so we know you can make it big and probably energy efficient. Yes, we are very energy efficient because of how we control all of the individual LEDs behind the screen. So it is actually more energy efficient than some of your traditional split displays because of how we're implementing these LEDs and the individual color control. We don't always need to turn up every part of that LED, only the part that matters. Right, and leading up to the show, you had a press release out that I covered uh, on the Home Theater News Review podcast uh, talking about the launch of this product, and there were a couple comments uh, to for that particular podcast from folks saying, well, it's still LCD, you're still going to have to deal with off-angle issues. Um, so I was curious coming in, what's this going to look like off-angle? And my first impression is, wow, off-angle actually looks like it's on-angle. So what's the voodoo going on there? So for a long time, Samsung's been focused on solving that issue. We want to have LCD TVs that have just as good of off-angle as our OLED TVs. So we created this technology a while back that we called Ultra Viewing Angle. And this isn't new to Samsung. It's actually been in a few generations of our TVs. You can see it in things like our QN90, uh, one of our Neo QLED TVs. And we're applying similar technology here. So like you said, you wouldn't know if an LCD is going to have great off-angle. But right when I saw you, that's the first thing you pointed out was, wow, I can view this yeah. from the side. That's the beauty of these 115 inch TVs. One, they're gonna fill your space, but two, it doesn't matter where you sit in the room, you're gonna have that perfect viewing experience no matter what. And it, for those of the folks out there wondering, well, is it better? Is the off angle viewing better on this particular kind of technology as opposed to what you're doing with your QD uh, LED TVs, is it better? When we compare our premium flagship Neo QLED TVs and OLED TVs to the micro RGBs, they are very close. But when you start looking at more of our entry level product like QLED or Crystal UHD, this is leagues beyond what they can do for off angle viewing. So if you are looking at flagship 4K technology from Samsung, you're going to have a good off angle experience. But if you want the best micro RGB, micro LED, OLED, that's going to deliver that experience. Will this be shipping soon? It will be shipping soon. So it is launching at 30,000 and we are expected to be shipping in November, but I have heard some rumors that it might be coming even earlier than that. Oh, that's really exciting. This is really cool that it's landing and we know there eventually will be trickle down into lower price points and people are really going to want to have this in their home for its performance factor. So congratulations on the launch. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're super excited for it and it got a lot of attention here at Cedia. I'm glad I got the opportunity to tell you all about it. Awesome. Yeah, folks out there, if you get a chance to see one of these, definitely go and check it out. Uh, Tim, thanks for hanging with us today. Yes, really pleasure. appreciate it. And uh, everyone out there, we've got a lot of people passing through here. Uh, we have a lot of content coming from the CDA show floor, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, but more importantly, become a member of our AV and home theater forum at avnirvana.com.